Hello, it's Randy Duck here, and today I have three replays for you in the Tier 9 British Tank Destroyer, the Conway. Now, I used this. Did the Conway hat can come with two different guns? You can either use the gun I use, the 120 mil, um, which has 400 alpha and insane DPM, like really does have insane DPM. Or you can use the bigger gun, which has sort of longer reload, but six alpha, six hundred alpha um, damage shots. Now, for me, it's only one gun to use, um, and that is the 120 mil gun you see me using in these replays. Now, the reason is, honestly, the, the gun on this tank is insane. The damage uh, per minute really is crazy. Like, it does not take long to rack up a lot of damage. Now. I have a very love-hate relationship for this tank. Now the reason being because although the gun is amazing and like some games when you're just able to, to get, get in a situation where someone's crossing, you catch someone out and, you, and you're able to shoot them, honestly, in a split sort of second you, you, you've, you've killed a tank. You, you honestly can really tear people a new one with this tank. It, it has insane damage um, per minute. but. The downside of it is the tank is, for one, massive, it's got no armour, it's very tall, and, you know, RT, you know, the fun police, they love you. You're, you're an RT's dream, really. Um, honestly, they, they don't have to hit anywhere near you, and they just completely take all your health away. Um, so, yeah, it's a very love-hate relationship. I have those games where... I'm like, oh my god, this tank's amazing because I, I, I can just keep the gun going and it's just like, wow. And then I have other games where I'm like, oh my god, I hate this tank. Because you sort of need that balance of the team able to sort of help you a little bit to, to, to be in a situation where you can get to use the gun. Now, this is the first time I've played a Conway. Now, I understand I used to only have like 5 degrees of gun depression and I can imagine that would have been awful when it had 5 degrees. Um, now I think it has eight degrees, and it's, it's very—it's actually very usable in ridge lines because it has that gun depression, um, and it's got a weird sort of shape to it because it's so tall. You like you can see what I'm doing now. I can just use this ridge, and I'm not actually exposing that much on my tank, so it can sort of use these positions. Now, fortunately for me, we're on the first map, and it's Sand River, but we don't have any artillery in play. No fun police to ruin the day, and we're very top tier. So this is a very viable position because of that. Had there been artillery, it, you know, it would have been risky because, honestly, the second it gets wind that you're there, you know, it doesn't take a lot for you to uh, get taken out. You're not exactly a, a difficult target to hit. Um, but yeah, you know, so far I've been here for a while. Nothing's really happened. Um, I wanted my team to push up at, um, to spot the sort of things camping at the back, like they have finally just done, and. I managed to get a shot into this Dreadnought. So that's the first bit of action I've really had. I've had a few shots at the light tank, um, which I was desperate to try and take out, but I haven't managed to take him out. Um, I've got the slimmest of shots on uh, this Dreadnought, and I'm trying to just go for this little pixel shot to see if I can take him out, but it's just not waiting for me. Then he gets unlit, um, and you can see he's got put in the one shot, and boom, I managed to take him out. Only 150 damage left, but that was the slimmest of shots. Now, Kind of looks like they've, um, as you can see in the mini map now, they've actually pushed right round and they're on our base. So I am aware of that situation. I need to, um, basically at this point I'm thinking it's a bit awkward because what I really want to happen now is our team to push round the right so that they can win that side because if that happens I can then move over to the other side of this ridge and I can easily defend the base in that area. I won't have to worry about getting farmed if they take our base. Um, but at, I'm just kind of waiting for them to push up, but at the moment I saw this opportunity to try and um, get some damage into their tank destroyer and I managed to take him out um, and now this Black Prince is crossing, as you can see, look, look at this, like he's been spotted for like 8 seconds, you know, I've al almost killed a, a 4 health tank, I know he's only a tier 7 but it just shows you what you can do in a very short space of time, um, like, I haven't really been got going this game at all but in a very short space of time I managed to rack up some damage. Now, unfortunately, I was trying to hit that light tank where the sort of gun depression was. If I went a bit, I couldn't quite get my gun down to 
get shot onto him. Now they've taken the base, and I've realised that. So this is what I do: I dart over to the other side. Um, unfortunately, I don't get. I had a repair kit, so I managed to not get as trapped. And I've got over because if I would have stayed on the other side, I would have just got farmed basically. Oh, I had to move that for a moment, otherwise I would have been able to get kills, kills from the guys um, on, on our base now. Because they've now taken our base. But as it is, I've moved over and I'm fairly safe from this ridge. Um, I'm getting sort of yoed by this tank. I just wonder what they've just given away. Um, so <laughs> that sort of stuff happens when they give away tanks. Uh, but I managed to shut him down. And yeah, I'm just trying to pick up shots. I'm not overly concerned with them being in our base at the moment because we've got enough support there, which I feel like they're not really ever going to be able to cap in this scenario. Um, but unfortunately, because we haven't cleared that side of the map, um, we're now getting farmed um, by the T92 and the Shashka in the back. Um, now, I should have mentioned uh, this game, I'm actually playing with one of my friend's Jokers. BK Jokers, he's a very nice guy. He also has a YouTube channel. Um, he's not really been posting that much recently, but I will link his um, YouTube channel in the uh, description, uh, just in case you want to give him a follow. Um, but yeah, he's a very nice guy. He doesn't have commentary, but he's a very good player and he does have um, big uh, games. Um, but yeah, so I've managed to sort of, I had to dart down to get out of dodge from the light tank and the other TD. Um, I just want to win this side now, so this is why I've moved down to here. I see the opportunity I can take out their T28. Uh, you know, it, just how quickly you can kill a tank in this tank. You know, the is amazing. Now, the Shashu comes around, so I'm going to put a shot into him. I'm, I'm fairly healthy, so I can afford to take shots at this stage. Probably should have swapped to the, to the HE now, um, because this tank does have the um, 120 Hesh pen, uh, which you basically get on the Chieftain. Um, sort of super conks um he has that sort of british um hesh round um so yeah so it is really nice um yeah basically so i probably should have swapped to that round i would have maybe got a bit more damage off there but you know it is what it is um but yeah this game's almost um sort of uh, yeah this game's almost done now there's sort of one tank which we um, know sort of where he is now he's just spotted on a map i'm just hoping to get an extra shot in which we do i'm just seeing if i can actually finish him off um, and do we get him in? Uh, yes, so we managed, because it's a great reload, we managed to uh, shut down him as well. So, yeah, that's it for the first replay anyway. Um, so, yeah, all that's left is to see the results. So, I managed to pick up that top come 5,571 damage, high caliber, ace tanker, uh, got sort of just over a thousand assistance as well. So, yeah, for the first replay, uh, not too bad. And, and bear in mind, like, it took me a long time in this game to really to get into the action, but when you do, it doesn't take long to pick up the damage. That's why I do sort of love this tank, but like I say, <laughs> what you didn't show in this replay is when you're getting sort of focused by artillery and stuff, you know, and when things aren't getting lit, it can be a bit more awkward. Hello, so don't worry, I'm back again for the second replay, and this time we are on Cliff Encounter. Um, now, we do have one artillery to concern ourselves about, um, but what I'm going to do is basically try and push the centre of the map. Um, and I'm going to take a location um, where I feel like I can get the most damage, although it is a risk that you could get shot um, by the gun police in that position. But it's just one of those things you've got to weigh up. Do you want to just sit there and do you worry too much about getting shot by artillery all the time? It's, you know, it's going to have an effect, you know, on the game basically. You, you, you can't worry about it all the time. You can try and, and, and uh, you know, play arty safe, but at the same time, I want to try and have fun. So <laughs> I'm going to just, 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 just weigh up that risk, really. Um, now, as I move into the position, what I've done is I've turned my turret to where I believe uh, my first shot of damage will come from. Now, that's something to always bear in mind. Basically, always give you your, your, your turret where you think you're going to get a shot, even though while you're moving. Um, because while I'm moving forward, I feel like I can get my first shot into right. And as you see, I see this dragon and I've got my shot in. And because I'd already aimed that way, I was able to get a shot. 
with this tank it has quite a slow turret um, reverse sort of speed so I probably wouldn't have actually got shot in had I not already been looking that way it does take a little while to actually turn it and then I also managed to get, pick it up in the shot into that tank crossing now I'm going to this sort of location which could work quite nicely because I've got like because uh, I'm quite tall and I've got like, the gun depression the sort of shape of this tank allows me to use this position here where I am there quite nicely to get shots in with why well, I'm still able to sort of conceal a lot of my tank um, and only expose like a turret because it doesn't really have any armour this tank so you really sort of just plan peekaboo basically in time of the reload you, you do get an odd troll sort of bounce on the turret sometimes they can hit your, your gun mantlet um, but it's safe to assume most of the time they're, they're gonna if they hit they're gonna pen uh, it's a little bit awkward because um, this sort of paladin seems to want to use the same location to me um, so I do have to be a little bit careful. Well, he's now got in front of me, um, and that allows me to just carry on using this position. But as you see, I picked up a thousand damage. I'm just trying to see. Oh, I am a little bit concerned that artillery going to hit me here. It is a concern, basically, but at the same time, there's lots of shots. There's a lot. I've got to get punishment on these tanks because if I don't, you know, if someone doesn't hurt them, then we're going to lose the game in a different way so I've got to make sure I put damage into these where I can so I'm exposing myself for as little as possible putting a shot in coming back down now this is where the reload so deadly you can see I managed to take him out and before he's been able to get safe I've killed him I put three shots into him but yeah so now yeah it's just just not picking up damage where you can you see the game's barely got going I'm on, on one two thousand damage now yeah just sort of moving up see if I can get to shots in our team sort of moved in so I'm going to move up to this next sort of position and I spot this IS-5 at their, back, their sort of base still managed to get a shot through him uh, you do have to be a little bit careful because obviously I can get shot from the guys in their base which I might not be able to see um, now I'm getting a few shots in uh, to these heavies but I'm having to expose myself uh, quite a bit in order to do that and I'm just starting to get that sort of feeling that I might have been here too long and I do want to sort of overextend and get more shots into them but in the blink of an eye you have to be careful because you have no armour but I do sort of over blink and sort of I get shot by a couple of tanks a lot of my health is going to be um, gone so I, I decided I'm going to move around and help out my tank over here uh, because he's sort of fighting too um, too heavy style so I'm going to try and help him, him out so we can win it over this side now, as you can see, what I'm doing, I'm actually deciding to use some of my hit point pull, which sometimes people are very scared to take hits, and it's not, you know, it's not a sin losing some hit points. In that sort of, for, for me taking that trade, I put two shots into him, and he's now dead. So it's well worth losing my hit points, and, and that's what I'm going to do here as well. Like I, I'm, you know, he might shoot me here. I'm, I'm no illusion that he might not pen me, but. I want to kill him quickly. We've got two tanks with us. If we both share our hit points between each other, where he takes a shot, I take a shot, we're not going to lose as much hit points and we can just deal with him a lot quicker, basically. So now I've sort of got down to sort of 600 hit points. It's, I know I have to be a little bit more careful though, but it's, it's, it's sort of the stage where it's worth taking hit points. Now he shot our tank so I poke down and kill him. So, we sort of, me and that um, padding worked quite nicely there. We, we actually both sort of shared our hit points well to take out two tanks very quickly. It didn't take as long to take, kill them two tanks, which is great because it's now freed up this area of the map. Now, basically, the majority of their team now, we can see sort of this Valor on the mini map. Uh, my plan is to pop around here, deal with him. Um, I was hoping he's going to have a few hit points because I can now get sort of a different angle on him. Unfortunately, when I come round, he, he, he doesn't have much hit points at all. He's just got shut down and now he's in a one shot. Um, but I'm going to see if I can get a shot into him. I don't let for the aim because I don't, you know, I don't think I'd get the kill if I didn't. But fortunately for me, um, it goes in anyway. Now, we know where the rest of the team are. They're going to be at the base. Um, it's not a really location for them to be. So my plan is to push down um, and see if I can, you know, if I spot them, I'll be able to get some nice assistance um, on the way. So. I'm just going to try and push down, but I can see this I-7, I was hoping I was going to get a few more shots into him, but he sort of concealed himself between that rock, you see I couldn't quite get damage in. But now I've found the angle, and I'm just going to try and get as many shots into him, and, and, and yeah, just it's clean up stage now. Um, 
I set it on the fire, which was really nice, so I managed to pick up that kill. Um, you can see the um, Jaggy 100 down the bottom. He, he's got no shots into me because of that rock. Um, I know, oh well, I've just seen the artillery shoot there, so I know he's not going to be in danger of shooting me at the moment. And there's only one location where this IS-5 could be, um, and that's in this corner. So we put a shot into him, he gets one in return. Now, I'm going to get a second shot. At this stage, I was thinking I'll put a second shot into him, then he's probably going to kill me. Um, but I was fine with that because I would have picked up two shots of damage. But fortunately, he low rolls, and uh, yeah, he doesn't manage to pick up doesn't manage to kill me and then I manage to pick up a kill so I was hoping if I was going to get one more shot damage him but uh, yeah uh, but it's quite a quick little fast paced game uh, I think there's only like six minutes that game and yeah I think I managed to pick up six kills got a top gun and within six minutes I picked up 7053 damage and 1033 assistance so yeah pretty pretty nice game there um, considering uh, like I say, the game didn't go on for that long, and I managed to pick up. Yeah, in a very short space of time, I picked up over just just over seven thousand damage. So yeah, quite happy with that. Um, that's it for the third. Uh, sorry, for the second replay, and I will see you in a bit for the third replay. Okay, so we're back again for the third and final replay. Of the um, of the video, and to th this replay, I'm actually again I'm betuned with uh, my buddy uh, VK Jokers. He's playing in the uh, T30, and we're on one of the new maps, uh, Desfall. Now, I'd probably say out of all the new maps, um, the new large maps, this is probably the only one I find okay. If you like, I mean, I don't. I think they should be in World War II mode, obviously I've already gone over this, so I don't want to tread an old ground. I think they are um, probably completely fine for the Cold War mode. I just don't think they're very good for the World War II mode. But, out of all of them, if I had a gun to my head and I had to pick one of them, I would say this is probably the one, um, the better out of the three, anyway. Um, but yeah, so... Right, so yeah, so we're going to go to, on this map, the sort of, the main location uh, I'm going to try and take, especially from this spawn, um, and on these spawn variants, I'm going to try and take the middle base, I'm going to try and take the sort of hilly town area in the, in the centre of the map. Um, generally speaking, on most maps, you know, if you're in the centre, you're going to be able to pick up shots on the most different parts of the map, and that's pretty much what you can do from this position. Pretty, you, from that position you can really shoot everywhere. Obviously it's a very large map so people are completely out of render range shot and get shots but you have angles at all the maps, at all the, the whole side which you will kind of see from uh, this replay where I'll get my shots from basically because I, I end up moving around and I get shots at all, all sides from this position. So I've taken this position, I have got support with um, Jokers, um, how do I need him? So I feel like if they try and contest this position as well, um, between me and Jokers, we should be able to deal with it. Um, but as you say, there's no uh, fun police on this game, which is nice because sometimes when you're in this position, you can sort of like there's lots of buildings here, and you sort of you almost feel like um, you're safe in the artillery when you're near them, but you're not. Artillery can get shots at you um, very easy up here. Um, but I don't have to worry about that um, in this replay. As you see, we spotted the enemy team on sort of the opposite ridge and some sort of down below. Um, I swapped to a sort of smaller map because I just wanted to get a, a dead feel of just in case anyone tried to come up. Um, and now I'm just going to try and let this gun sling and uh, get as much damage in as I can basically and just try and take out their targets. I'm trying to lose my detection here, but um, I'm getting a little bit impatient and I'm just going to try and uh, get some shots in. I see this I six now he's sort of backing up, um, and you know, he's quickly realised he's not in the best position anymore. Uh, but unfortunately, it's too late now. Um, you should see the sort of devastation of this gun. If someone's stuck in the open, they're not escaping. Uh, what really is, 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 is terrifying. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just going to try and try and take out his panther basically, see if we can get some damage to him. I'd, 
I try to not expose myself because if I don't have to lose any hit points, I, you know, I try not to. And it sort of allowed me to work quite nicely on there. Like he couldn't really see that much of me, um, and it didn't take me long to move back into cover. So it, was, it worked quite well. But we, you know, that area is done. Um, Joker's just sort of told me that there's some people sort of pushing around here. Um, so this is like where the damage is now. So I've come over here to sort of support jokers and as well as, you know, just trying to get some damage for because this is where the next set of damage is. Now, this I3, <laughs> he's made some mistakes. He's sort of gone around here, but then he's getting almost pushed by our guys at the bottom. So they're sort of stuck in a very uh, awkward situation here. Our team has sort of played that quite well, so I managed to shut him down. Now, I can see this tortoise over there. That also obviously has disgusted DPM. Um, but I was just trying to get a few shots for his Capola. But this Wizzy sort of pushed round again. He's now stuck in the open. Uh, I actually managed to get a ricochet there. Um, I think it was just sort of some uh, extreme angling where I managed to bounce the shot, which was quite lucky. Um, but yeah, you're not going to complain. Um, and we managed to shut him down. So I know this uh, sort of tortoise is, we're having sort of a battle off here. Um, I was thinking I might have got a, sh got a shot then, I got quite lucky I think, but he sort of turned around, he's sort of getting shot from two different angles, so he's not in a great position anymore. Um, I get a shot straight through that little cover, um, now he's down to one shot, so I just want to see if I can get a shot into the cupola, sort of aim in, I was kind of expecting that to, to, to take him out, but unfortunately, um, I think I sort of must have hit not hit his cupola and hit the top of his uh, chassis and missed that. Now, I, I take him out now. I'll probably earlier, maybe, I could probably put HE in to be fair. I get 15 health left, but it doesn't matter. He's taken out. Go for a shot in the Huntsman. Um, see if I can get another little shot into him. Oh, didn't quite get one there, but he's sort of moving through. You can predict the reason to go. Uh, and manage to get a shot of trapping pace. Now, I'm hoping I can get another shot of damage into him. Unfortunately, I don't, and um, he gets shut down by my friendlies. Uh, but yeah, as I say, from this position in the middle, I managed to get shots all around basically. So I've not really, I've moved to here and I've not really gone anywhere else. And within that, you know, I picked up sort of 5,000 damage and 800 assistance. So there's only two tanks left. Uh, we'll definitely won this one. And yeah, we're just going to try and move up and just hope to see if we can get any more shots in. Um, I saw his T32, I thought, oh, he's in full health, but he quickly loses that health. Um, wait for him to come up and I could get a tiniest shot, not even fully aimed, um, through the, uh, the top of his turret and I take him out. So there's just one tank left, there's a dragon, and at this sort of point I was kind of thinking, I don't actually know if I was going to get a shot left. Um, one thing before the end of the video I probably should mention is the only other sort of draw, another drawback to the tank is the ammo count, it doesn't have a lot of ammo. And honestly, you can you can run out of ammo so quickly in this tank when you're using this gun. Like, I think you have like 35 shells or something along those lines. And I've run out, there's so many games where I've just run out of ammo, like I'm having like big games. And because I've been using my ammo to shoot disposable cover, or just missing shots in general, it don't take long. It really doesn't take long to, to, to run out of ammo. Now, I'm just hoping I can get another little shot into this dragon. Just want one more bit of damage. He comes on there, I sort of pretty good reason to come around, but I've ricocheted. And the Dragon does have that, you know, when you're shooting APCR at a Dragon, I bounce so many shots in it, you can just get that weird awkward angle where you bounce, but we managed to shut him down and we managed to get the kill. And we actually managed to pick up nine kills that game. And honestly, I had no idea I was anywhere near nine kills. I said, it's one of those things, like I say, because you don't have the kill count at the top, you don't really keep an eye on it, really. Um, and I didn't realise I was close, but so, every time you see nine kills, like if you see eight kills, you're like, oh nice, I've got Radleys. But when you see nine kills, you you never think, oh, I've got Radleys. You always think, oh, I didn't get a pulse. So it's almost like, I'd probably rather have got eight, because every time I get nine, I've got that little weird disappointment where I'm like, oh, I didn't quite get the pulse medal. But, you know, not gonna complain, really. Got 5,700 damage, got the Radleys. Uh, yeah, the high caliber ace tanker so yeah it was quite a nice little game um 
And unfortunately for you guys, that is the end of this replay. But not to worry, because we have another replay coming out Friday, so you won't have to wait long. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, um, happy tanking.